Parallels and Meridians Part 2 Latitudes and Longitude Parallels of Latitude An imagery line is any sort of geometric line that has only an abstract definition and does not physically exit. In fact, it is used to identify a map properly. There are two types of imagery lines, latitude and longitude. Latitudes are imagery line which run from west to east. The equator is the most important latitudes. It divides the earth into two equal halves or hemisphere. The word hemisphere literally means half of a sphere. The upper or northern half of the earth is called the northern hemisphere and the lower of southern half is called the southern hemisphere. The lines of latitude are measured in degrees. They are numbered from 0 to 90 degree north or south. The equator is at 0 degree and the degrees of the other latitudes keep increasing as we move towards the poles. The north and south poles are at 90 degrees. There are other important lines of latitudes that are Tropic of Cancer at 23.5 degree north in the northern hemisphere, Tropic of Capricorn 23.5 degree south in the southern hemisphere, Arctic Circle at 66.5 degree north in northern hemisphere, Antarctic Circle at 66.5 degree south in southern hemisphere. Some features of latitudes. All latitudes are complete circles except the North Pole and the South Pole. They are points. The length of the latitudes decreases as we move from the equator to the poles. The latitudes are located at equal distance from one another. The latitudes are parallel lines, hence they do not cross or meet each other. There are 90 latitudes to the north of the equator and 90 to the south of the equator. In total, there are 181 latitudes including the equator. Meridians of Longitude The vertical lines on a globe or a map are called meridians or lines of longitude. These imagery lines run from the North Pole to the South Pole, crossing the parallel of latitude. They are numbered from 0 to 180 degrees. Some important lines of longitude are Prime meridians at 0 degree, international data line at 180 degrees. Meridians of longitude The prime meridian passes through the Royal Observatory at Greenwich near London. The observatory played a very important role in the study of the history of sun, moon, stars and planets. The other longitudes are measured from the prime meridians and are marked as east or west. The part of the earth which lies between 0 degree and 180 degree east is called the eastern hemisphere. The part of the earth which lies between 0 degree and 180 degree west is called western hemisphere. Some features of longitude. All longitudes meet at the poles. All longitudes are of same length. The distance between two longitudes is maximum at the equator. The distance decreases as we move towards the poles. Two opposite meridians form a great circle. A great circle divides the earth into two equal halves. There are 180 meridians to the east of the prime meridian and 180 to the west of the prime meridian. The meridians of 180 degree east and 180 degree west are same. In total, there are 360 longitudes. Grid system and latitudes and longitudes intersect or cross each other and form a network of lines. This is called the grid system. We use this grid to find the exact location of a place on earth. To find the exact position of a place, we need the accurate value of the latitude and longitude which pass through it. The point where the lines intersect or cross each other is the location of that place. Time Longitudes help us to calculate time. When we cross the 180 degree meridian or the international data line, we gain a day. The 180 degree meridian separates two calendar dates. Because of this reason that the places situated in the eastern hemisphere are 
one day ahead of the place situated in the western hemisphere the international date line is not a straight line it has been drawn in an irregular manner so that it does cut through any lead area now let's recall latitudes are imaginary lines which run from west to east the equator is the most important latitude which divides the earth into northern and southern hemisphere longitudes are imaginary lines which run from north pole to south pole latitudes and longitudes intersect or cross each other and form a grid system we can locate places with the help of the grid we can calculate time with the help of longitudes thank you